and here we go. We have some breaking news coming out of Boston. The Celtics are finally filling out their roster, making the last move to their team before we head into the playoffs. And according to the Celtics themselves, they announced on Monday night that they have signed two-way big man Namias Keita to a full NBA contract. Now, Keita's deal is for multiple years and allows him to participate in the 2024 postseason, which he wouldn't have been eligible if it wasn't for this contract. Now listen, in this video, we're going to break down everything you need to know about Namiya Skata, what he brings to the team, and why this is a good addition right before the start of the NBA playoffs. Before we jump into the video though, I need you guys to do me a favor, hit the like button, subscribe if you're new, it is free, it doesn't cost anything. We're going to be covering the Celtics forever, we've got you guys covered, but also, we live stream every single Celtics game. So if you guys want to watch some of the games with me this season, the playoffs, Make sure you guys subscribe, turn on post notifications, we're going to be live every single game. Okay, with that being said, let's jump to the video. Now, in my opinion, this is a very smart decision by Brad Stevens in the front office. Now, over the past few weeks, months, years even, there has been one major issue with Boston. We can't rebound, right? Namias is a guy who comes in and has been here. He has been in the system. He knows what we're trying to do. He knows the defensive scheme, and he knows the teammates around him. He knows where guys want the basketball. He knows, you know, when to pass, when not to pass. Uh, you know, when to, you know, we. He just knows the system really well in Boston, right? At the end of the day, you bring in a free agent guy right before the playoffs. He has to learn the system. He has to learn his teammates. He has to learn the coaching style. Or he has to learn everything. Namias is a guy who has been here, done that, and has flash potential every time he gets on the basketball court. Now, the one issue with Boston over the past few months is we can't rebound the ball. Namias is a guy that hustles, gets big time rebounds, and knows how to play good defense. Now, at the same time, there are a little bit of issues with Namias, right? He fouls a lot, you know, he's always giving teams some free throws. So he obviously needs to clean that up a little bit. But at the end of the day, when you look at who we could be potentially playing in this year's NBA playoffs, you look at a guy like Joel Embiid. You look at a guy like Giannis Antetokounmpo. You look at a guy like Bam Adebayo, right? Those are the three guys that we should most likely be worried about. And sometimes in the playoffs, it gets chippy, a guy could get thrown out. It gets chippy and someone could foul out, right? A poor Zingus or an Al or a Luke, right? Some of these guys could get fouled out. And versus a guy like Joel Embiid, I don't think Tillman would be the best fit. But with Namias, I think Namias is bigger. I think he's stronger. And I think he is very good defensively if he doesn't foul. I think he's had some time to develop in the, in the G League a little bit. And I think Namias could be the perfect fit here going into the playoffs. Now, He's from Portugal, love Namias, I love this signing. He was waived by Sacramento back in uh, 2023 and then signed with the Celtics in their G League affiliate. He's been really good, right? Um, he appeared in 26 games for Boston this season, averaging 4.6 points, 4.1 rebounds, over 11 minutes per game. We're also providing front court depth, right, for us behind Chris Stapps, before behind Al, before we got Tillman, right? But now that Tillman's here, he kind of went back to the G League and started to develop a little bit more here and there. Uh, Keita has appeared in just four games since the Celtics acquired big man Xavier Tillman at the All-Star break, but flash potential earlier in the season. Now, guys, like I said, I think he's a guy who has plenty of upside. He was familiar with the system and is someone who can bring that 15th man off the bench. If you have someone to foul trouble, if you have someone that has to miss the game or someone that's injured or someone that gets a tech, you know what I mean? He's a guy that can come in and give you another body against a Joel Embiid, against the Giannis, and against, you know, a Bam Adebayo. I think the Mias makes plenty of sense here for the Boston Celtics. And when you look at what we're trying to do here, it just makes more sense than going out there and giving you uh, a random free agent, a random guy out there that maybe just won't fit the system right away right but now we have drew derrick we have jalen we have uh jason we have chris Stapps, we have al and then we got peyton pritchard who's been amazing sam hauser o'shea Brissett. i mean man i am really really looking forward to these playoffs i think we have a great team and i think this is our biggest shot 
to win it all this season. Now, let me know what you guys think about this move. Do you like Namias coming over here? I was going to break down some film, but hey, we know Namias. We don't got to break down film about Namias. We know what he can do. We know what he brings. And now we have another big who can come in here and give us some more depth minutes. So, let me know what you guys think. Hit the like button. Subscribe if you're new. Join the family. And um, if you guys do really want a quick break, uh, film breakdown, we might even see him tonight in the Milwaukee Bucks game, right? So, if we do see him tonight, maybe I'll break down the film tomorrow on him. But... With that being said, make sure you guys come through for tonight's game. Milwaukee, Boston, big game tonight. Hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next Celtics update or live stream tonight. Peace.